Wow, look at where we are. We're in Nebraska at the Zonolith plant, Olive Creek One, where they make carbon black and hydrogen. I'm here with the Monolith CEO and co-founder, Rob Hansen, where we're gonna talk about what this plant is doing today and what the next steps are in Monolith's future. We are just south of Lincoln, Nebraska, and this is the Olive Creek One facility. It's one of the largest methane pyrolysis plants in the world. Methane pyrolysis, tell me, what is that? So that's where you take methane or natural gas and use electricity to split it into carbon and hydrogen. And the really cool one is the carbon comes out as this very special product called carbon black, which pretty much everyone interacts with every day in tires and dyes and inks and plastics. It's one of the base building blocks of modern society. And what's special about monoliths carbon black? For the last hundred years, the world's been making carbon black by burning heavy cuts of oil. Instead of burning oil, we use electricity to split natural gas. So our carbon black has all the same performance properties, but without the emissions. This is my favorite spot on the site because you can see the entire process. On the far side, you've got the reactor. That's where you actually split the methane into carbon and hydrogen. And then it goes through the whole plant where it's cooled down. It's eventually filtered out of the hydrogen and made into its final form, which is pelletized carbon black. I always find it magical to think that this is the carbon that used to be in methane. And instead of it being burned and emitted as CO2 to the atmosphere, it's made into a solid form and then shipped to customers to go into value added goods like car tires. Let's take a closer look at the plant. Absolutely. Look at this amazing view. You can tell we're in the middle of farm country. Yeah, what I love about this is you actually see where hydrogen is gonna end up. And that's on the agricultural fields of Nebraska. So we've talked a lot about carbon black, but we also make hydrogen. And hydrogen, we're gonna convert into ammonia, which is a fertilizer. And it's used to grow the corn that helps fuel the country through biofuels and feed the country. Right now, the country still imports ammonia, which makes us reliant on uh, foreign producers. And this point will help push back on that so that we become more independent in our food production. Tires, toys, Rob just told me it's even the mascara that I'm wearing. 